Good afternoon guys, firstly I hope you're all well and of course welcome back to my channel. I am back with a, another haul, as you guys know this is one of my absolute favourite things to film. I love my hauls, I cherish my hauls, they're very valuable to me, <laughs> I just love doing hauls. But unfortunately they haven't actually been able to kind of ship us enough kind of items, so I'm actually missing over half my items. So yes it might be kind of slightly shorter compared to usual, so when I've received my other items I'll do like some stories etc on Instagram so make sure you're kind of following me on there. Um, and then of course I'll kind of update you guys further. If you're new here, um, as you've seen, literally we are renovating our house right now, so there's mess everywhere. So I've like picked like a white wall and like a white background, which is simple. But if you saw the mess around me, you'd laugh. First things first, my discount code on the screen is GLJ. This will provide you guys 10% off. Yes, be transparent as I always am. Um, this does give me a little bit of commission. So thank you very much if you do obviously support me by using my code. Never, like I'm not going to sit and lie to you. If something doesn't fit me, I'm gonna tell you. If I don't like something, I'm gonna tell you. Okay, I can promise you that. Now, information. So I'm currently around 72 kilograms. I'm five foot 10. Past is usually a 32 a slash B around about my glutes. I think they're like a 40 or 41 inch. And then my waist is usually around a 29 or 30. Bottoms, I usually wear a medium, but I have most recently actually been switching over to a small. And tops, I always wear a small. Hoodies, I always go for a medium or a large. I prefer oversized fits. So that's the rundown in terms of my sizes. With the actual launch date itself, it's coming out on the February the 24th. To be honest with you, by the time you guys have seen this, the items would have launched anyway. Um, I still want to kind of get a video over to you guys because I just, like I said, love doing these. So, first things first, we're starting with the Adapt Camo. Now, this is coming in a sports bra, loose tank, SS top, leggings and shorts. So, um, in the leggings, I have gone for a small. No scrunch bum. So, as we can see here, they're very plain on the bum. Literally, there's like a, a line there, as you can see, like all down there. Which I never find is that flattering, to be honest with you. It's kind of like a half scrunch, but it's not obviously a scrunch bum. Like, it's just there. And, of course, we then have the actual um, kind of logo there as well. Now, guys, I love these. These fit so nicely. So, as you can see, like on the actual waistband, they fit quite nicely. If anything, to be honest with you, I probably could roll them down like an absolute smidgen if I wanted to. Otherwise, I feel like I've got kind of not that much on display. Um, so yeah, might be worth considering. With my ankle, like they're not too kind of short in that sense. Like quite a nice, nice length. I have still got a little bit of roomage where I can still move around and kind of pull them up and kind of change them around as I like to. In terms of obviously on the bum, as we can see, like they fit really kind of nicely and they're very kind of flattering as well. So literally, love them. Like love. If we're then looking over the shorts, these, no, like, that is not going to cover one cheek. My bum is on display, basically, and I don't want that. In honesty, from the get-go, like that, when I, I can't click, there we go. When I opened these, I was like, oh, that's quite short. And for me, I prefer a cycling short. I just feel more kind of comfortable. I always have preferred a cycling short. But as we can see, like, that is just, it's a really nice colour. These I've gone for, and again, in a size small. Might be a little bit optimistic there, but we're gonna give it a go. They're far too small. <laughs> they are so short, I feel like everything is literally on display right now. The waist kind of fits nicely, and it does. Like, it's quite high. Like, I like how high it is. They just feel a little bit too short for me. Like, I need a couple more centimeters added onto these and just have them as a cycling short. On the kind of quads, like, they're not actually that bad in terms of kind of tightness. And I personally do, like I said, kind of prefer pulling my leggings up a little bit. So they kind of just. In this region, I don't know. It just doesn't feel as flattering. Probably not a pair of shorts that I actually would wear. They're a little bit short and same from kind of behind. Like, as you can see, like, they are very, very, very kind of short. And if I do one move wrong, then everything is on display to everybody. <laughs> Moving swiftly on, we then have the Adapt Pattern. So this is coming in the Drop Arm Lifting Tank, the Loose SS Top, the All-in-One, Leggings and Shorts. I am gutted. I haven't got the pink or blue. Like, they haven't arrived in time, which I'm so gutted about. Oh my goodness. Like, the pink? Wow. And I'm not really a pink person anymore. I'm quite actually, like, I quite like, like dark and neutral outfits now in terms of the gym outfits. I like greens, my khakis, my neutrals, like browns, my blacks, for example. But anyway, aside from the point. Let's go with the all-in-one first. And we have this. I cannot lie to you guys. When I opened this up, I was like, what is this? Like, I literally was like, it's a half. What is this? I'm not gonna say I'm gonna run for it right now from first impressions, but you should never judge a book by its cover as they say. From first impressions, I'm not 100% sold on it, but we'll give it a go and let's kind of see. Look at how low that comes. 
Obviously this bit here is the back bit. So it's gonna come all the way down here. Now I said half, I don't have a sports bra to really go with this. So I'm gonna have to improvise um, because I don't have the matching sports bra right now to get this to go. And the other factor as well is, these are very short. Like I actually love the Gymshark all in ones. So bear with me, I'm gonna show you guys this all in one. Okay, so I actually have this. As you can tell, I've worn this. I actually wore this over Christmas as well, and I love this, okay? I'm not usually like a onesie type of vibe person, but this I actually really like with like a pair of um, Uggs. It's just so comfy and so cozy. But then when I saw this, I was like, okay, this is long, whereas this is very short. And in the UK right now, like we are cold. <laughs> it is cold, but um, this is a medium here. So we'll give it a go. Let's see how we can get on. Okay. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. Get imaginative. You're meant to be thinking a black bra underneath this obviously goes to the pattern. No, no, it's not happening. I won't wear this. I can't lie to you. I'm not going to wear this. Like this, I feel like I should be going on getting my bike and going on like a um, a long bike ride. It's just not a bit of me. If I'd have gone for a small, this would not be getting on a leg <laughs> or around my waist. In terms of the actual bum and in terms of the legs, like this is a nice fit. If I did this, this would be nice. Like this, I like. In terms of here as well, actually, like I could actually fit somebody else in there. Like, does anybody else wanna get in here? <laughs> it feels like I could literally get somebody else in here. And also actually like here, there's usually like you could kind of have so much padding, but like loose material. It's actually not that bad in that sense. It's just this, I, I just feel like a bit silly in myself. I don't know why. So yeah, this for me, it's just not a, it's not a winner. I can't lie to you guys. So next up we actually have the leggings. And again, I've gone for a small. And as you can see, it's a different obviously pattern here. So love that kind of pattern. That's a really nice pattern, I always think. So as you can see there, that's obviously a scrunch um, pattern, like obviously scrunch bum, sorry there. Underneath the actual bum, there is nothing underneath them. So they are very plain and simple in that sense. Obviously it's just the pattern the whole way down. So we literally have them like this. Stretchy, which I like. So these are, these are quite nice. I really do like these um let's kind of see how they actually sit underneath the bum okay so these leggings literally fit me like a glove um, in terms of on the leg as well as we can see they actually kind of sit very nicely the only thing around the kind of quads like i haven't got much space to to move we're on the last bit like it hasn't got much more kind of stretch there on the kind of quads and that's what i always find but actually on the bum for example like with the scrunch that sits really nicely as we can see like i've got a good amount of room and there's not anything kind of bagging here like baggy um here in that sense like they are flattering and they they just sit very nicely and i feel very kind of comfortable in them um so, there. Yeah, love them. They're very nice. So, next up we move on to the flex. Now, I feel like if you're an OG Gymshark lover, this is just going to be right up your street. Like, this is just the proper OG. So, this is coming in the sports bra, leggings, shorts, and the LS crop top. I actually have the flex high-weighted leggings. Voila. Now, the reason I say these are the OG leggings is because of this. Please tell me I am not the only one that associates the OG leggings like with this and also the ones that say Gymshark around the band. But I remember when I was younger, when I was actually in uni and I saw every girl had these and I was like, I need them. I want them. They were so in and they were the just most popular Gymshark leggings I saw everywhere around uni. In terms of this, obviously they have the big Gymshark at the back, which I think is really cool. And then we of course have the actual Gymshark logo, very small and petite there, which is quite nice. And then of course around the front, as you can see, you've got the different um, contouring here so literally around kind of the leg and it goes all the way down we then have um the underneath bum here so the bum looks like this the big underneath which is cool and then of course there's nothing apart from that line again around the kind of bum there okay so no scrunch very plain in that sense i have gone for these in a small so we're very interesting interesting to see how these actually fit but i really like them like i think they're really nice i have really nice color as well i love that i think that's so sick and um, oh i think that's just sick with the actual gym shark part there okay so these literally fit like an absolute glove again i would say kind of waistband wise they're kind of quite high so potentially it might be worth kind of considering rolling them down a little bit on the kind of quads like these are tight and they are definitely kind of tight on those kind of quads in terms of the actual um bum, bum contouring as we can see they're quite thick underneath the bum now i love the band here that's really kind of flattering i do like these but i think they're kind of a little bit too thick as you can see you've also got kind of the actual thick kind of contouring um, down the kind of side and then of course underneath the bum there as well so love like literally love this color i think that's so flattering in terms of of leg length again they kind of fit really kind of well they're not kind of too tight um on the kind of ankles so they fit really nicely next up we then have the elevate collection so we are starting with the sports bra first guys this sports bra is cute 
cute. Like, it's very cute. It's coming in plum brown, faded blue, and the lemonade pink. And I have the lemonade pink. Honestly, love. Like, literally love this. As you can see here, this just sits so cute. Now, I've seen a lot of people kind of cross it. So they actually, as they wear it, like they've crossed it here, which is quite nice as well. And then obviously on the back, um, it's obviously very thin. If you're very, like a person likes very minimal sports, but I was quite small, like myself. So I really like, for example, small straps that are very thin. Um, and I think just because I've got no boobs, like I'm very non-existent in that region. So the minimal sports bras are honestly heaven. I know I rave about them every single time I do a Gymshark YouTube haul, but honestly, they're my favorite. Like these ones here, I have them in so many different colors. I love the back, they're so open, they're so small in that sense. And it just, yeah, it just fits. Now with these, if you are bigger busted, I'm not gonna say the high support because I personally don't think that's high support. There is no pad in here, like there's nothing, okay? It's literally just a little bit of material. There's no pad in there, okay? In terms of straps, yes, they are adjustable, which I think is really good. I really, I do like that as well. And it's a very soft material. Now, their actual um, Elevate collection, I would say it's just generally very, very, very soft. Like it's very buttery, um, quite like Lululemon vibes in that sense, very kind of buttery. So this bra here is cute and I just love that. I think it's such a nice color as well and it's so so cute. Okay, I had to show you one more thing because um, I've literally actually just uh, set the kind of sports bra like this. Um, and how cute is it like this? Obviously having it kind of crossed over. A little bit kind of tight, um, but honestly, it fits really nicely. Um, and it's really cute like this. There is then the bodysuit coming and also the crop top, which I do not have. But this is actually my final item, which is the tank, which is coming in the black, the plum brown, and also the white. I actually have the black here. I love this. I actually wore this in a video the other day, which you'll see on the screen right now. I love it. You can't really see it to be fair in the video. Now, when you sit like this, okay, it looks very basic, doesn't it? Actually, what I, when I first opened it, I was like, oh, that's quite basic. Uh, it's quite plain and simple. It's quite nice. Um, it's very rouged, okay? So as you can see there, it's quite crumpled on each side. How am I gonna show this in the best way? Can you see here how on the sides, it's very kind of crumpled together and the same on the other side. Now, the reason being is because it literally brings your waist in. And I put it on yesterday and I was like, oh, wow. Okay, that fits very, very, very well. Like it fits so nicely. In all honesty, I could size down. So it does sit here, but because I haven't got much in terms of kind of cleavage and boobage, I'm not gifted in that area, um, it did rise. Now, again, if I'd have gone for maybe a smaller size, it would kind of fit even tighter, but I love it. Like it's got the thin straps and a very small Gymshark logo, as you can see there, but that's not really that evident. Like if you look at it like that, you wouldn't even really notice it. Um, and it's, it's so soft, like it's a really soft material. And again, like if you see here, you see that line material, that's kind of what it looks like. Um, so it's not a, okay, think about like a Skims, like Skims t-shirt, you know, like the one that I absolutely wear when I wear 24 seven, I swear. Um, think that, that's obviously very kind of buttery, isn't it? Like one straight material. This is very buttery, but it's a line material. Like, can you see that? Um, so just bear that obviously in mind. But I love that. Like, I think it's so nice um, and I, I really like it. There is no adjustable straps. Personally, I would size down on this. I just think, like I said, it's very stretchy and I do think it would probably stretch a little bit. So maybe consider um, sizing down in that. We then have more Elevate items. So we have like the midi pullover, the long sleeve top. We then have the track top as well. More Elevates, we've got the shorts, we've got the leggings. And then of course, I'm so gutted about this, guys. There's so many sports bras coming and oh, honestly, I can't wait for the day they come. <laughs> we've got the back gains, which love it. Love the open back. We've got the one shoulder. I love a one shoulder. Um, usually, because what happens, you know, this is like the bando, isn't it? A lot of the time, a lot of people pull this one like over the head and have it like that. And I've done that a couple of times. You've got the rib fabrication, the long line cross back, um, which all of those sports bras look lovely. And I literally love them. The rest day, um, so we have the ribbed leggings. I'm so gutted. You've got the skater long top and the rib shorts as well. Um, and then you've got like some hoodies, the cutout hoodie, the pink tuck jogger, the joggers. Those joggers are my favorite, honestly. Um, I'll, I'll start a video, a video here. I live in these joggers, like live, literally live in them. And I think they're so cool because they obviously say like Gymshark on the bum and these are the same, but a little bit kind of different writing. And they're such a nice pair of joggers. You then got the shorts as well. And that is literally all of it. Now the joggers, I wear a medium. I have actually most recently seen a couple of them been sizing down a little bit because I prefer a slightly kind of tighter fit. Um, but again, in the actual joggers there that they're shown on the screen, I am wearing a medium. So there we have it. That is my, 
my Gymshark haul. Um, any questions you have, obviously, please pop them down below and I'll kind of get back to you as quickly as I possibly can. Thank you guys, obviously, so much for watching. And of course, if you do use my discount code, GLJ, again, thank you so much. Um, of course, save yourself some money. Please remember to hit the like button, subscribe. And like I said, any questions, pop them down below. And I upload every single Sunday at 6 p.m. So I'll catch you next week.